Janie. 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 Patrick? It's Patrick. In my den with me in this hospital bed? What do you want? Well, I'm here to ask you a few questions. NSA asked me to come talk to you and ask you a few questions. They're changing and it's not going to be NSA anymore. It, don't worry, it? It, it's still NSA. Can I ask you a few questions? Well, uh, I guess so. What is it? What is it? Well, NSA this year is honoring our female past presidents, and you're one of them, and they wanted me to come ask you a few questions. I can't believe I can't believe it. I'm in a hospital bed in my own den. I am in bad shape. It's apparent to me that as much as I love NSA, they don't know what's happened to me this year, Patrick. Don't you remember? In December, carrying those hot dogs into the house, I fell and broke my femur right above the knee completely in two. I had to have serious surgery. I've been off my feet since then. Oh, I know. I, listen, I, I know, but I'm not going to ask you to stand up. I just need you to ask you a couple of questions. It well, won't... They also probably don't know that after that serious surgery, I had a heart attack. A heart attack. I died. I died, Patrick. Gone. Died. And they did the fibrillator things on me and they pushed me with the CPR and I did the best I could, but I mean, I've I've really been through it. I don't feel like, when was I in that state president? Listen, 31 years ago. Was it, it was a long time ago. But I just want to ask you a, a few questions just to let people who don't know you as well get to know you a little well, bit. Well, I can tell you how they can get to know me when they were giving me that CPR and saving my life and bringing me back and everything. They messed up my lungs. And then the the the... What are they? The ribs got in there, smashed into you know the lungs. What? The lungs deflated. You're right. I have okay, been okay. through. I, I didn't mean to upset you. I'll just take Wait the film crew and we'll leave. Film crew. You didn't say anything about a film crew. Just give me twenty minutes. No, I wasn't the first woman who was president of NSA. Uh, I guess people think so because I was taller than the first woman who was president of NSA. The first woman president was Patricia Fripp, and she and I had worked together all, and we were both nominated the year that she won, and she, did, she was a terrific president. But a funny thing happened back then, there were just two or three of us, Sheila Marie Bethel, very few women were on the board. And Frippy became uh, elected as president. Uh, and then somebody said, then the next year, let nominate a genie. And as we sat in the board meeting, <laughs> I wouldn't take anything for it. Somebody raised their hand and said, I think, Je and I'm sitting there, I think genie would be a, a great a president, genie, you know that too. But if she follows Patricia, then we've had two women in a row, like that, that would not be, that would probably not be good. My thought was, as I looked around the room, you'd use up all of us very quickly, you know, if you had it right now in a row. But I raised my hand and I said, I'd like to speak to that. Um, it would seem to me uh, that I, that's an interesting perception that you've got and I would agree with you. As a matter of people sort of went, she agrees with him, knocking herself out of competition. I said, but what I would like to do right now then is make the motion that we never have two men in a row either, and I'd like for you to second it. And he seconded it, and that's how we went on. And so we laughed about it a little bit. The one, one of the things that I love about NSA is it's open to people who want to be the one up front. Some people want to be in a training seminar, some people do workshops only, some people uh, keynotes, that's all they want to do. And, and I'm a humorist, I'm a professional speaker is a humorist. I deliberately don't call myself a comedian. And when I first started, um, the difference that I have seen in, in it was first of all, the more, more men were call themselves comedians, after dinner speakers, humorists, that type of thing, and fewer women. I think that worked to my advantage, and I think it I now has changed completely, and here's why. It, it, way back, remember, this is a long time ago. You didn't have 
tapes of people you didn't, nobody heard other speakers and so forth. A lot of people told old jokes and they told them quite well and the public hadn't heard them and they just, they just roared. But when women began to get in it, you looked at those jokes and realized they had uh, gender by a, a certain gender. Uh, I just don't see a lot of women starting a piece of material with, so I went into this bar with an alligator, you know, and that's what the men were saying. So all I knew was to do was to tell stories that had happened from the years Miss North Carolina or, what, or being 6'2 at 13 and all these type things. And, and now if you fast forward, you will see many more women in humor within NSA. Um, for me, write your own material if you're a woman who's entering the speaking profession, just as I would tell a man who's entering the speaking profession. And second, what we've all said for years, but a lot of people just think it didn't happen, speak for free. Get out there and speak. If you want to speak, speak. Don't expect to start with a high fee. Number two, number three, don't oversell yourself. Don't promise to do something you really don't have it. I would rather turn it down and only try to put, I'm in enough places where I shouldn't be anyway, so don't deliberately put myself in a place where that's, they're thinking, I wish you could have heard of what, what when she was uh, in, her, in her element. Um, and I just always say, call me back when you want this topic. I, I, I find it so, speaking, I speak on developing a sense of humor and it's funny. And, and so if a client calls me and says, we want a program on leadership, I'm not going to turn into a leadership speaker. But what I can do is say to them, well, one of the most important things a leader can have is a sense of humor.